Electric cars certainly reduce your carbon footprint, but making lithium ion batteries could emit 74% more CO2 or carbon dioxide than conventional cars. What if there was a cheaper, more environmentally friendly battery technology that didn't use any metals? A startup, startup, a startup, Holly Jewel has come up with a new breakthrough type of battery made entirely from good old plastic. We've got a technology that will meet all the criteria of the grid, and on top of that, it's easier to deploy. So why would anyone want to use a plastic battery, and how might you use it in real life? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Given the intermittent nature of renewable energy, battery storage is a critical link in the renewable power system. Among the many technologies that are emerging in the domain, Boston-based PolyJewel, a spin-off of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, has created a battery that uses electrodes made of conductive polymers. PolyJewel? Polymers? Anyway, these are plastic-like, non-metal, organic compounds that function as metals for the purposes of charging and discharging energy in a battery. Polyjewel outlined their approach that we do everything throwing out the rules of existing lithium ion batteries. So, want to know how this battery charging time compares to the 4680 lithium ion battery? Polyjewel also claims its polymer battery outperforms lithium ion across the spectrum. With approximately 12,000 charge cycles, this battery outperforms the 4680 battery by 600%. In contrast, a 4680 battery might manage only around 2 to 3,000 charge cycles in its lifetime. Polyjewel batteries are also able to discharge around 1 megawatt of power in 10 seconds compared to the 60 seconds in average lithium ion on battery needs. The team also suggests a polyjewel can be charged in under 5 minutes, which is 7 times faster than the 4680 battery cells. Because the 4680 batteries would require around 32 minutes or so to reach a level of charge of 80%. Moreover, we all know that 4680 batteries have lifespans of around 25 years, but Polyjewel claims that their technology could nearly double that, with a projected lifespan of 50. Moreover, its lifespan is almost three times longer than GM's Ultium battery. In real-world use, an Ultium battery will last around 150 to 250,000 miles, which is equivalent to 11 to 18 years. But another important area that we need to discuss is, obviously, the expense. How much is this polyjewel battery going to run you? Experts suggest that for batteries to be useful in renewable energy storage, their price needs to be reduced to around $20 US. Polyjewel is not quite at that point yet. The team claims their batteries function at around $65 per kilowatt hour. In contrast, although lithium ion batteries have reduced drastically in price in the last decade, they still average around $132 per kilowatt hour. A polyjewel battery is also one and a half times less expensive than an Ultium battery, which is priced at $100 per kilowatt hour. But what about the manufacturing process for this type of battery? Is it easy and is it safe for the environment? So we start with the periodic table of organic elements. Since they are constructed entirely of polymer, Polyjewel batteries do not contain minerals such as lithium or cobalt, which must be extracted and refined before use. Their water-based manufacturing chemistry can be produced using already commercially available equipment and does not require clean room conditions. To prove the ease of production, the startup has already produced over 10,000 polyjewel batteries using simple roll-to-roll -roll processing based on 10,000 trials that makes a very good battery for the home that meets that criteria. Low cost, uh, safe, and long lifetime. 
Price prediction can reach $30 per kilowatt hour in 2025. But one aspect that many people are interested in is the level of safety, because there are many battery fires happening in this day and age. So, how about this battery? Polyjewel batteries can actually deliver the high power peaks over shorter durations without sacrificing. The Polyjewel is described as ultra safe. And unlike lithium ion batteries, it will not become warped or disfigured with overuse. Having an inherently safer chemistry allows Polyjewel to save on system integration costs, among other things. Polyjewel batteries don't contain flammable solvents, which means no added expenses related to fire mitigation. Safer chemistry also means ease of storage, and Polyjewel batteries are currently undergoing global safety certification. UL approval to be allowed indoors and on airplanes. Finally, with high power built into the chemistry, polyjoules cells can be charged and discharged to extremes without the need for heating or cooling systems. Moreover, according to the company, their batteries are 95% recyclable because it's polymer based and they use organic materials instead of bulk metals to form a battery. Using polymers for these types of batteries could create a whole new market for recyclable materials, which could be major. Plastics could be put into the batteries, so at the end of their lives, they're recyclable. Besides the great advantages, this battery has some roadblocks ahead, and now let's talk about them. A polyjewel battery cell under development has an energy density five times smaller than 4680, or about 60 watt hours per kilogram. This means polyjewel would need a battery five times as big to store the same amount of energy, making it not ideal for your phone, laptop, electric vehicles, or other applications where size is an important consideration. Each power string measures 2.2 meters by 0.8 meter by 3.4 meters and weighs 1,590 kilograms. Its nominal voltage is 528 volts and the voltage range is 158 to 972. The manufacturer ensures continuous operation at temperatures between negative 40 and 50 degrees Celsius with minimal capacity loss. Polyjewel is directing their batteries largely towards static applications, such as air conditioners and heaters, industrial energy storage, and data centers. In particular, they suggest their batteries will be particularly useful in situations where a lot of energy is needed quickly, such as in critical infrastructure and renewable energy management. Today's conventional lithium-ion grid-scale battery storage facilities like Tesla's Powerwall and Powerpack can typically supply electricity to the grid for about four hours. They're also optimized for regular daily use. Charge up during the day when the sun is shining or the wind is blowing, then discharge in the late afternoon and early evening when the demand for electricity spikes. They aren't really designed to store electricity for days, weeks, or months. However, Polyjewel's plastic batteries might be able to store energy for longer, at about 20 hours. It's an impressive time. They're also figuring out if the Polyjewel batteries can store seasonal energy to balance the grid. Battery storage is always speculative. The transition from laboratory to commercialization is fraught with danger. However, by the end of the year, Polyjewel will have delivered its first 10 kilowatt hour system, exiting stealth mode and adding commercial viability to its demonstrated technological superiority. Or will it? How do you feel about the plastic battery? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support of our channel. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments of the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.